What is Ethereum? Most people have heard about Bitcoin, but when you ask them about other cryptocurrencies like Ethereum, they have no idea what's going on. In this video, I'm gonna teach you the absolute basics of Ethereum, what it is, when it was created, and how it's structured. So if you're looking for an Ethereum 101 course, this is the video for you. Okay, so if you have no idea what cryptocurrencies are, what blockchain is, what Bitcoin is, please watch our other videos where we go through the 101 basics of Bitcoin and of blockchain. Then come back to this video and we'll teach you about Ethereum. Ethereum was created in 2014 by Vitalik Buterin. Vitalik was born in Russia in 1994. At the age of six, his parents immigrated to Canada, bringing him along on the journey. Immediately, the school system saw his aptitude for education and how smart he was. Buterin was placed in classes for gifted children and started to understand that he was drawn to math, programming, and economics. Buterin learned about Bitcoin from his dad when he was 17. Then, in 2013, he visited developers in other countries who shared his enthusiasm for code. He returned to Toronto a year later and published a white paper proposing Ethereum. At the time, he attended the University of Waterloo, but dropped out in 2014 when he received the Thiel Fellowship in the amount of $100,000 and went to work full-time on Ethereum. Okay, enough about Vitalik, let's get into Ethereum. A common misconception is that people think that Ethereum is a cryptocurrency. The truth is, is that Ethereum is actually a blockchain. The currency that's used on that blockchain is called Ether. So when people are talking about the price of Ethereum, they're actually talking about the price of Ether. Unlike Bitcoin, which has a 21 million coin cap, there can be no more Bitcoins. Ethereum has no limit on the amount of coins that can be in circulation or produced. Unlike Bitcoin, however, Ethereum is more capable. For example, the Bitcoin blockchain is only used for buying and selling and trading cryptocurrencies. Ethereum blockchain can be used for many different things because they use what is called a smart contract. Ethereum actually uses 15 second blocks as opposed to the 10 minute blocks that the Bitcoin network uses. Now just to emphasize this guys, if you haven't heard about blockchain, please go watch our other video, get knowledgeable about blockchain, then come back to this video. Now if you think about the basic structure of a contract, it is a sequence of ifs and thens. For example, if I pay my power bill, then my lights stay on. So anyone can create a smart contract and submit it to be on the Ethereum blockchain. This does, however, come at a cost, which can be paid in Ether. So let's say that your cell phone provider uses a contract for two years on the Ethereum blockchain. They offer you a service of phone, internet, and text, and you pay them every single month for a period of two years. So there's a definite start and a definite end, as well as steps in between. Your payment would be submitted through the blockchain. They would immediately see that you had paid your account and they would immediately reset your offering for that next month. The contract, however, is extremely strict. You cannot miss your payment, even by one second. Otherwise, the Ethereum blockchain smart contract will execute that contract and completely terminate it, no longer offering you cell phone service and your cell phone provider would know immediately. In order to get back into that cell phone plan, you would have to negotiate a whole new contract with them. These contracts are actually written in a programming language called Solidity. Now that is really in-depth information. I will get into that in a future video, but for the basics, you don't really need to know that. Most cryptocurrencies that came out after Ethereum are actually based on the Ethereum blockchain. So many of the altcoins that we all love and use are actually on the Ethereum network. Now just to clarify one thing, there is Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. I won't get into why this is two separate things. I just wanna tell you that there was one event called the DAO event. I've linked an article explaining that entire thing below, but basically what happened was somebody exploited some loopholes in a smart contract and ended up getting a lot of money from people. This caused people to pull back from the Ethereum network, say, hey, something's not right here, 
let's create a version 2.0. That is the Ethereum blockchain that we use today, but there were some people that still liked the previous version. That is why they made Ethereum Classic. And now you know why there's two. So let's recap. Vitaly created Ethereum in 2014. Ethereum is a blockchain that uses smart contracts. Ethereum's currency is called Ether. To put a smart contract on the Ethereum blockchain, you have to pay a price in Ether. Ethereum blocks are actually 15 seconds versus 10 minutes on Bitcoin. And there are two different versions. There's Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about Ethereum. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got some value out of it. Please smash the like button, subscribe for more videos like this, and to be notified when we create future videos on in-depth explanations of blockchain, Ethereum, and Bitcoin. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.